Iowa is rich in water. The state boasts thousands of miles of streams and rivers, as well as more than 160,000 acres of lakes, ponds, and wetlands. But water is a limited resource. It must be protected from pollution so we can continue to use it for drinking, recreation, and industry. Iowa's water is found in two forms. Surface water is visible on the surface of the land and includes lakes, rivers, and streams. Groundwater is water that has soaked into the ground and is stored in the tiny spaces between rocks and particles of soil. Groundwater can be just a few feet below the surface or may be stored hundreds of feet down. There are many types of water pollutants, but the contaminants of greatest concern are sediment and nutrients. Excessive sediment impacts our surface water by reducing the storage capacity of lakes and reservoirs, destroying fish and wildlife habitat, and negatively impacting recreational and commercial uses of surface water. Excessive nutrients, specifically nitrogen and phosphorus, can contaminate both surface water and groundwater if they are not managed properly. Drinking water that's contaminated by excess nitrogen poses a serious health risk to humans and animals. Excess amounts of nitrogen and phosphorus in surface water speeds up the growth of algae and aquatic plants, a process known as eutrophication. When this excess plant growth dies and begins to decompose, it uses up dissolved oxygen in the water. This then limits the amount of oxygen that's available to other organisms, including fish. Without enough oxygen, fish die. Ammonia, an inorganic form of nitrogen, also can be toxic to aquatic life, especially fish. Agricultural sources of ammonia include runoff from fertilized crop fields or livestock feedlots. Pollutants reach groundwater through two ways, infiltration and runoff. Infiltration begins with the splash of a raindrop on the hard surface of a feedlot. Water flows along the hard surface until it reaches the edge of the lot. There it begins to infiltrate or leach into the ground, carrying with it nitrogen and phosphorus. As the nitrate nitrogen moves below the water table and enters the saturated zone, it flows with the groundwater, eventually discharging to a surface water body. Or it may enter a water well where it could potentially harm both humans and livestock that use that water as their drinking source. Runoff begins when the soil is saturated or restricted and infiltration cannot occur. Runoff also occurs when rainwater comes so fast it simply cannot be absorbed into the ground. As water moves, it picks up soil particles and nutrients along the way. Iowans have many options available to help them protect our water sources that make economic sense. Properly designing livestock facilities is one way to reduce pollution. Another way to greatly limit the chance for water pollution is by using conservation tillage methods in farming operations. Iowa has many expert sources to help residents explore the best ways to prevent water contamination. Contact your local Natural Resources Conservation Service and your local Extension Office for more information. These agencies can provide ideas and technical assistance at little or no cost.